Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. So recently I made a video listening to my college audition pre-screening CDs. And I was gonna say, which was a very fun experience, but I'm gonna delete the word fun, it just was an experience. So today I thought that we would take it even further back and go back to 2004 and listen to one of my first solo performances. <laughs> So this performance was filmed in August of 2004, and that year back in January or February, I had this performance at this scholarship winner's concert. So technically that might have been like my first real solo performance, but unfortunately my mom did not videotape it. Thanks mom. Like, hello, my YouTube channel, all these years later. She didn't even think, th obviously I'm kidding. It's good that she was living in the moment, taking in the music, listening to my performance. Anyway, the performance I'm about to show you, I'm playing the same piece that I did play in that scholarship winner's concert. And this piece was my first real solo piece. It was the solo piece for my seventh grade junior county band audition. And I remember I started working on it with my teacher at least in sixth grade, maybe even towards the end of fifth grade. She really wanted to prepare me for the audition and to feel super comfortable with the piece. And I did end up getting second chair for that audition for junior county band and orchestra. So I was super ecstatic, like as a seventh grader to not only just make it into the ensemble but to place so high I was over the moon so this piece was really a staple in my repertoire for the first several years that I was playing flute and it is called Hungarian Serenade and I'm not even going to try to attempt to pronounce the composer's name Victorin John Sears sorry to all my French speakers, but I did do some quick research on him right before this, and it turns out that this piece was originally just written for solo piano, and then it was transcribed for flute and piano. This piece is in my first solo book that I ever had, 24 short concert pieces for flute and piano. Just seeing this cover like really brings me back. The book is like extremely destroyed because I used it so much. My teacher Robin, she got a little highlighter happy here. There are a lot of markings and colors as you can see. So yeah, I loved this piece. I was obsessed with it for a while. I thought it was so beautiful and I'm excited to hear my performance from 15 years ago. I started flute and band class when I was 10 years old and in this performance I had just turned 13 so that is almost three years of playing. Okay, so here we go. <laughs>
Oh, she gave me a cute look. That's so funny. Just pick up the music and leave. No, but it was a church service, so it wasn't like you would bow and they would clap and all that. So, yeah, but, ah, I can't believe it. It's so crazy to see that after all these years. It's got me feeling like, like, what would that Katie have thought then if I was like, you're going to go to music school, you are going to do this, like, this is going to be your life? I don't know. I can't really remember my mindset at that time, but I definitely know that I was super in love with the flute and classical music by then. I feel like I should try and sight read this now and just see what it's like after all these years. So, um, hold on a sec. for watching and please let me know if you like the style of video I have a ton of other old performance videos I have some that aren't this old like I have a lot from high school so let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing them and if you did like this video please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content from me also be sure to go connect with me over on Instagram at Katie Flute thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video